Hi everyone, so I'm going to show you how we can connect GitHub to Heroku. So essentially I have Heroku set up right here. All you have to do is sign up for your account and log in and just click on the logo at the top left here and then you'll get into your dashboard area. And don't worry about these, these are just some other ones that I have already created that I've deployed. But what we want to do is we want to create a Node.js application and then we want to host it on Heroku for free. So we can grab that link and then we can share it with others. So all we have to do is go to new here and it says create new app. Click on that. And then now it says here we just need to name the app. I'm not going to be too picky about what you call it um, because sometimes it's already taken so you just have to keep trying until you get it you get a name of whatever you want it to be called. Um, this is just for testing purposes. So I'll just say um, MDIA 1620 um, teaching or something like that and then don't worry about choose a region, just set it to United States, it's enough. This is essentially just choosing the closest area where um, your code is going to be stored. And just create create app, click create app. And now that we have this set up here, we want to actually connect to GitHub. But before we do that, we need to actually first set up our application. So we need to go to GitHub. And make sure you're logged into GitHub. And then just click on your profile icon, go to your profile. So you should be able to see your dashboard and everything that you've created. So let's just click on the plus sign at the top and let's say new repository. And we're gonna be like, let's see here. Um, 16, 20, 16, 20. or I'll just say MDIA 1620 Heroku test. This is just to test the deployment to Heroku. So I'll just say public, it doesn't matter. Sure, I'll add a readme file. It, I believe it's always important to add a readme file. Um, just It's more for documentation purposes. Click create repository. Now that we have this um, created here, go to um, Visual Studio. We'll just make a new one here. Terminal, new terminal. And then we'll go to the desktop. And then now we're going to create the next, um, the next app. So what we'll have to do is npx create next app. And we'll just say web. So what it's going to do, it's going to create a web folder right here on our desktop, like you see it popped up here. And it's creating this um, Next.js application for us that will be used on the web. Okay, so once it's done, you'll see a message that says success. So that means it's been created. So let's go inside the folder, so CD web. Once you're inside the web folder, let's open it up here in Visual Studio Code. So I'll just type code dot, or you could just drag it over into Visual Studio Code. It's up to you. It'll just open up a new Visual Studio. I'll close the old one. And here we go. We got this web opened up here. So as you can see, it actually created all these files and folders for us already because we grabbed it from an online resource just by using command lines. And I'll just go here, terminal, new terminal. And I'll just test it out so I could show you what this looks like at the moment. So we'll do, um, let's see, npm run dev, enter. So make sure you're inside the folder, in the web folder, and then do npm run dev. Now it tells you here, it started a server and it tells you the URL for it. It's on localhost 3000. So if we grab that URL 
and you go to your browser. I'll just move it over here. So right over here, it's going to localhost 3000 at the top. It's just a little bit slow right now because I'm also recording at the same time as I'm doing this, so it's just causing some delays at the moment, but it should get there eventually. So there you go. You got this web application that's already set up for you. And um, just before we get on to the next part, I may require you to change, oops, let me go back. So here on your web application, before you do anything or go into the next step, I'm on the, in the lab, I may make you change like the title here and some areas on here. So in order to do that, so in order to change some of these areas here, inside Visual Studio Code, let me expand this here, you can go into Pages, and then you can go Index.js, and here's all the code for what's being displayed on the actual web browser. So what we want to do is let's change the title. So it says, instead of Welcome, just say um, something like, Whatever it says on the lab, change it to that, but I'll say, hi, my name is Monica. Oop, I'll just put in proper grammatical sentence here. Hi, my name is Monica. Save it. And then go back to the browser. And what does it say here? Okay, so I removed the A tag, so watch out. When you remove an A tag, let me just remove that as well. Save it. And let me go back now to the browser. There we go. It shows at the top here. Hi, my name is Monica. So this is how you go about... You have to look inside the actual code. And when you go back to Visual Studio, make sure you're under Pages in the Pages folder and go to index.js. And here's where you can change all of the different code. Just make sure the opening and closing tags match up. Because if you don't, as you saw, it gives you an error. So you have to know how to um, just work with this area. And I'm most likely going to make you change some areas like in here. So instead of documentation, let's go, let's add or change it to something else. So we'll go, let's look for documentation. Okay, documentation's right here. So what I'll do is I'll just change it to create. And then here is a description in the P tag. I'll just put blah, blah, whatever it is. And then when you save it, do Control S on your Windows or Command S if you're on Mac. And then go back here. You can see here we got create, blah, blah. And it's all written here. And then I'm probably going to make you change all of these as well to a certain text. So just follow the instructions and then you should be all good to go. And when you go back here to Visual Studio Code, if you want to stop this server, so you want to get out of here, you have to do uh, Control C, and it'll say Terminate Batch, say yes. Um, if it's on Mac, it might be Command C. Just try the Command C or Control C on whatever device you're on, and then it should exit and terminate the server. And then you should get back to this regular console log. Because if you're at this regular console log, if I go back here and I refresh the page, it's not going to work. So you have to run the server in order for this to work. And again, in order to run it, you have to be like npm run dev and then hit enter. And let that load for a second, don't do anything. And once it tells you what URL you should go to, use this URL here, go to back to the browser, either copy and paste it, or I'm just refreshing, it's the same, um, it's the same address, a 3000, so I just refresh the page, and then it should pop back up again. And as you can see here, exact same message was displayed here. Now, let's actually take this application and let's host it somewhere online because right now it's just local host. This means it's only on your computer. 
but we want to share this link with anyone like around the world. And we cannot do this if we have a just local host. It has to be an actual URL. So in order to do that, let's um, minimize this for a second. And what I'm actually going to do is right here in GitHub, because we still need to clone this your this um, app here uh, or repository that we started, we need to click on this green button. We need to do this HTTPS, copy this. Once you've copied this, go back to um, Visual Studio Code. I would suggest just opening a new window. Now let's open up a new terminal. And I'm just going to stop this server here by doing uh, control C. And just say Y for yes, just so it doesn't lag my computer. But right here in this new window, what I'm going to do here actually is go CD desktop. And then I'll be and I'll just say um, git clone and then take that URL we just copied, enter. Then I will, inside here, just copy this, um, the name of the folder and go inside, CD, go inside that folder that we just cloned. Actually, what we want to do here first, let me just open up the web folder here. So inside the web folder, you can see that we got all these files. What I'll actually do is I will just copy all of these files and then just drag and drop it into that folder we cloned and action okay it's because it's still open so let me it's causing this problem because it's still opened in visual studio so let me just close this visual studio code um, with that folder so let me do try again um oh yeah we already have a readme it's okay just replace Okay, so now that this is done, your web folder will be empty, and now this one will have some kind of folder. Um, well, inside this MDIA folder, or whatever you called it, on your GitHub repository, it'll have all of the items that we've just created for that web app. So now what we can do here is go back to this... Um, this area, and then inside that folder, MDIA folder, or whatever you called it, we can say git add dot. And then let me see here, will be replaced. Okay, just don't worry about that. Then we'll do git git commit dash m new files and folders or something like this, and we'll do git push, so if you see here, it should say it successfully, um, it successfully pushed it up to the main, so if we go back here to GitHub, refresh it, you should see all of these files and folders here now. And what we want to do is we want to actually um, go to Heroku now, and we want to connect this so this can actually be shown on an actual URL site. So let's click on inside your actual Heroku app that you created. Uh, click on this GitHub, connect to GitHub. And it says here, connect to GitHub. And make sure you are using whatever a GitHub account you're, you want to connect to, and just say, just say authorize Heroku, password, just enter your password, so once you've entered in your password, it should do something like this, and GitHub will be highlighted, and now it says, 
search for a repository to connect to. So in that GitHub account you have, look for this repo name and look for the name that um, was created here. So we called it MDIA-1620. So I'll just put that MDIA-1620. Let me just do a shorthand. Let's see if it finds it. Okay, it does. Um, but we called it Heroku test. So it'll be this one right here and just click connect to that repository, whichever one you want to connect to. And let me just check here. Okay, so which one, which branch do you want to deploy? We just have main, so deploy. And just let that run. It should automatically detect that it's a, a next app and then it'll create the build files that's needed in order to run it on the actual browser. So it should say build succeed, it's going through the process. And you should see all these green check marks and it should say your app was successfully deployed. Click on view. And you can see here, you get the secure site already. It's a free site and you can deploy it now and you have this area. Now you can, you know, start hosting whatever you need to. And you see here, my application with all the information. Hi, my name is Monica and the create whatever information you have here has been deployed successfully on, on the web. So you can share this link with anyone and depending on what the requirements say on your homework, just follow that. But this is how you connect your GitHub repository with your Heroku.